Bye, I love you. Beautiful morning today. It's chilly, but it's beautiful. Okay guys, so we're off to Lemoore. We're gonna do demo today. I'm gonna get the guys lined up out there. Make sure they take out what we're supposed to take out and leave what we're supposed to leave. <laughs> That's critical. But yeah, we're gonna do demo. Um, and then I gotta lay out some pools. So I'll go to uh, Hanford shortly after, most likely, and then back to the same job after they do concrete demo. And we'll paint out the pool and make sure everything looks good for excavation. We have rain coming in. We, we were gonna dig today, actually, or tomorrow, or even early next week, but this rain seems kind of unpredictable. It keeps changing every day. And uh, we have Thanksgiving next week too. So it's just gonna be a weird week. We're probably gonna push these digs to the week after Thanksgiving. Hopefully we're blessed with some clear weather and uh, no rain. strapping it to the, the side of the house the electrical come down here and we'd only have to saw cut you know a little bit and then there's a hose bib over here that we could saw cut to you guys think it'd be easier to come through the side fence panel that's what I was thinking right yeah. um, it's just gonna be that little pad right there um, and then saw cut to the to the hose bib okay. for the auto fill for the pool. Mm -hmm. um, so not too bad, huh? Easy day. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Then you guys will come back and do the the pool deck also. Yeah. yeah. Come what three like two feet over? That way it's clean. Yeah. Water or for, what's up? For the water. Just for the water for the auto fill. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So even though there's a hand joint in this concrete, it only goes down so far. So we're gonna cut between the two slabs. That way when they're breaking it out, you get a nice clean break. Zumba classes, sign me up. Okay, so Lamore, city of, city of the Lamore. City of the Lamore. Now, Lemoore was a pain in the butt, man, for the permit process. I'm not going to lie. I mean, medium. They were a pain, and then they approved it. I thought they were going to send it back to me with more, more stuff. But, uh, anyways, got it approved. What am I complaining about? We're good to go. Um, I'm going to come in right behind this Jeep. Don't want to run over this lady. Now, this is always sad. Every time I come into do permits and stuff at the different cities i always have right into the situation where people come in like you can see their lamore finance utility billing you see these people come in and uh they're like backed up months on their water bill and stuff and anyways this one last time i came in i offered to pay for this lady's bill and it got really awkward really fast because i think she thought i was hitting on her <laughs> she said she said, what's the catch? I was like, there's no catch. And the lady's behind the counter also. And this got a little awkward. I was like, I promise I'm just trying to be nice. Like it's, I'm not, I'm not a weirdo. And uh, anyways, ended up helping her with a little bit of her bill. But um, the reason I did that is in another town, Tulare, I told myself when this happens to me again, if I have the means to, I'm gonna help uh, whoever it is that I run into. And uh, it took some nerve to even offer. <laughs> and then after I did, it got all awkward. So I don't know, maybe I need to work on my delivery. All right, so I got my permit issued to us out here. I didn't want to film in there, but maybe I will in the future. <laughs> hey, you guys are too fast. <laughs> You're 10 pounds? Uh, 20. 20? Is it 20 pounds? Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Look yeah, at that handle, man. You, you guys use the shit out of that. <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit? Yeah, just a little bit. You know what? Yeah, let's let's just cut. You're right. Let's just cut two feet in. Or what's right here? Yeah. yeah. Uh, 
Two feet. About two feet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two of your feet. <laughs> who's, it depends on whose feet. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, let's do that. I think that's not necessary going yeah, all yeah, the way, huh? Way, no. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I agree. What were your names, by the way? Gus. Or Gustavo. Gus. Gustavo. Matthew. Nice to meet you. Matthew. Jesus. Jesus. Nice to meet you. Okay, so yeah, just like two feet, and we should be good. Yeah. You guys want some Gatorades? Sure. Yeah. Some Gatorades sound good? Yeah. Or Modelo? No, not Modelo. No, okay, I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you thought I was serious, huh? No, no, no. I drank before, not now. He said I already had my Modelo. Yeah. I was gonna do the concrete demo in house, and you know when you look at the costs associated with a certain project. Sometimes you just have to weigh the pros and cons of doing it in-house or subbing it out. In this case, my concrete guy, I'm just going to have him do the demo. He's charging me $250 a, a foot for the demo. I don't have a dump trailer yet. This is such a new business and we're still, you know, getting everything figured out. Uh, without having a dump trailer, not having a concrete saw and everything else, it would cost me probably twice as much than me just having uh, him come out and do this demo. In the future, I'm gonna be doing that stuff in-house. Um, me and, you know, an employee or two, and that'll be some fun footage, I guess, to see that. Um, hey, so do you wanna go volunteer at the mission? The mission's on Wednesday, so it's the day before Thanksgiving. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, we'll, we'll go volunteer, that sounds nice. The kids, kids can go, huh? That's what she said. She said, you know, Callie, that's the two-year-old. She, she doesn't really help, but she comes with us, so. Well, if anybody, if they're, they need to, they need to pull their own weight. <laughs> they need to show more gratitude. Those kids, um, yeah. Oh yeah, Lamore hardware. Looks cool. Hello, good morning, how are you? Good, how about yourself? Good, I'm looking for some steaks. Uh, well, wood, metal, plastic. Home Depot has these yellow plastic ones that have a little hook on the top. Hi, Viz. Got a couple Gatorades. Okay. How's your day going? Good, good. Is this all for you? That's it. Alrighty. Have Thank a good you day. Very much, you too. Thank you. Take care. Uh -huh. I forgot to get a construction fence. Looking good. You're welcome, brother. Okay. And I really appreciate your help, brother. Okay. Nice Thank to you. meet you, okay? You too. Take care, man. Thank you, guys. Design Works, this is Matthew speaking. <laughs> this is Domino's Pizza. We're uh, here trying to deliver your pepperoni pizza. Oh, it's not mine if it's pepperoni, man. Only linguisa. <laughs> I also just realized this morning there, so if you're ordering a pizza right now, you're degenerate. Yeah. Pretty good idea of what you're wanting? Yeah. Yeah? Uh, the Facebook, you know the short? Oh, the Instagram or YouTube? Yeah. yeah. Man, I'm impressed. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm actually very satisfied, like I'm in good hands. <laughs> You're in good hands, I promise you. Yeah. I promise you, yeah. Thank you so much. Dutch Bros. That's my, that's my, that's my drink right there. <laughs> Big old Slurpee. It's like, I don't know why I'm almost embarrassed of it. <laughs> it's like a guilty pleasure of mine. Dutch Bros has really good customer service. Maybe I'll show some of the conversation I had with both both uh, employees were really nice. And that goes so far when you, you have to have a good product, of course, but then you can have a mediocre product and exceptional customer service and it still be enough. You know what I mean? And you can have a great product and terrible customer service and I won't use your product. But yeah, guys, so this channel is a lot of fun to do. Um, I don't really know what my ultimate objective is with it, but I just love sharing my life with you guys. It's kind of fun showing the business elements, the life elements. Um, I'm really big on humble 
kind, loving attitudes. And um, I think that's, I think that goes a long ways in life. And I had a, a position recently, uh, not gonna name the company, great company, nice people, don't get me wrong. I was making, I was making 130,000 um, and I wasn't happy. And nothing about the people, nothing about the company, but I wasn't happy. And you know, money does not buy happiness. And nowadays, 130,000, I was really grateful for that. I know that could be a lot of money to some people, to other people, you know, uh, they say big deal. But to me, it was a lot. But my point is, is I wasn't happy. And life isn't all about chasing happiness because you do have to deal with, with struggle, responsibility, of course. But you can find that balance. And for me, running my own business and also having more flexibility for my family to uh, spend time with them at different moments. Uh, we homeschool our, our daughters. Uh, to me, I'm just so much happier when I'm self-employed. Before that job, I was self-employed also, and I missed it so much, and I was a lot happier. I'm, and I'm just excited to share all of this with you guys. Uh, all of our projects coming up, this is kind of a new frontier. We just moved up again. Uh, we sold some projects by the grace of God. Thank God, I'm, I'm so grateful for that. And uh, we're bringing on a, an employee, maybe a couple. We may still be filling the waters depending on experience uh, with how many people we bring on. But um, I don't know. It's going to be an adventure, and I'm excited to share it with you guys. And, and, yeah, I'm grateful to all of you who decide to watch. And, guys, if you do watch these videos, definitely subscribe. It helps me out a ton. It helps the channel out. And, uh, you know, like it if you like it. But subscribing helps. And I'm going to try to continue to put out good content for you guys.